Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Phillipsburg is being brought to you by the Garnet Booster Club. I'm Courtney DuPont reporting from Phillipsburg High School, bringing you the North 2 Group 4 state semifinals between the Phillipsburg State Liners and the Irvington Blue Knights. Opening drive for Phillipsburg as they power down the field to the Irvington 16. Jack Stagger with the snap, hands it off to Joe Green, and Joe Green slicing through that Blue Knight defense into the end zone. Welcome back, Joe Green. After being out due to an elbow injury for three weeks, Green with a strong return, putting Peeberg up 7-0 in the first. But Irvington would answer quickly with the next drive. QB Brandon Robinson takes the snap. Looking downfield, he finds number two, Josiah Provolon. For Irvington, and that's a touchdown. Justice Branch not liking that call, but the Blue Knights get on the board 7-6 after a failed two-point conversion. Irvington with the ball back, trying to take the lead now. Robinson drops back on the 18, throws up a deep one to number 17, Zaheer Swan, with a great catch, perfect placement by Robinson. And after a two-point conversion, the Blue Knights are now up 14-7 in the second quarter. Second half, Peeberg with the ball, the handoff to Joe Green. He's met with a lot of Irvington pressure, and the ball comes loose. And it's number five, Daryl Hill Jr., who comes up with the fumble recovery for the Blue Knights. Irvington now on the Peeberg 32, Robinson with the snap. He looks for Provolone once again, but number 21, Javon Boothman picks it off. And with Knights on his back, he carries them down the field and gets Peeberg the ball on their own 45. Peeberg would not score and would be forced to turn the ball over to Irvington. Same story though, Irvington with no luck, forced to punt. Robinson with the kick, but it's Javon Boothman who gets a hand on the ball with the block and Peeberg recovers it on the Irvington five. State liners then get down to the Irvington one yard line where Jack Staggart takes it himself for a second Peeberg touchdown. Staggart on the keeper as the state liners tie this game up at 14. 10 to go in the third quarter now. Robinson with another drive down the field. He drops back looking for Provolon. But it's tipped up in the air, then again by Justice Branch. And yes, he keeps it alive for an interception. Peberg will take over at midfield. Despite failing to score once again off of an interception, the State Liners do gain possession in the fourth quarter now. 4.30 to go. Jack Stagger looking to throw again, checks downfield and finds Ray Paremba by himself wide open for a beautiful 32-yard touchdown pass. That makes the score 21-14 Phillipsburg. But here comes trouble. Four minutes is way too much time to give to this Irvington offense. Robinson with the deep pass in the end zone to Swan. The flag flies for interference, but it does not matter because Swan makes an unreal catch to make it 21-20 Peberg. The question now is, do they go for the win or the tie and overtime? No hesitation here though, Irvington is gonna go for it. They get pushed back to the 15 after a false start, but they're still going for the win. Robinson with the snap, the pass, but it's batted down by number 28, senior captain Steven Davis, and that would be the end of the game. Phillipsburg defeats Irvington 21-20 in exciting fashion at home. They're moving on to the North 2 Group 4 state final against guess who? That's right, conference rivals the North 100 and Lions in a rematch that is sure to be exciting. After the game, I caught up with Ray Paremba and Javon Boothman. Well, we, me and Stags weren't connecting all game and we pointed out a flaw in their defense. Their corner liked to sit. So we took advantage of that and he hit me deep. I knew, I knew we'd, click, we'd click out sometime. We have to with our big one next week. We have to make sure we're 100%. People were clapping, but I mean, I'm a wide receiver. I'm supposed to do that. So you can't really clap for something you're supposed to do. It, feel, it feels great. You know, they came into our stadium a couple weeks ago all loud, thinking that they're all that, and we stuck it to them, and we're going to stick it to them again. Well, we we do like a, it's like a fake cover two. So, like, I, like, go back and cover it as I'm playing cover two, but then I roll down back um, and garner coverage, then which is our cover three. I'm playing, like, curl flat, and I I just knew that he was going to throw the curl because he saw me back, so I creeped up, and I just read the whole way. I was It was, it was exciting because I knew it was a game-changing moment after we had a turnover, so it just, like, changed the momentum quickly, and... Um, it was it was just overwhelming, honestly, overwhelming. Honestly, because they they had good players, like they were fast and they were athletic. But honestly, we just kept hitting them and hitting them, and eventually this gave out and we just won that battle. And it's a great feeling, honestly. 
And Phillipsburg takes this one 21 to 20 thanks to their defense today. Reporting from Phillipsburg High School, I'm Courtney DuPont, and you're watching Jersey Sports Zone.